Hello and welcome back to America's Forum on Newsmax TV. I'm John Bachman. The House Intelligence Committee having a, an important meeting on Tuesday about worldwide threats affecting the U.S. Prominently featured during this hearing was Edward Snowden. More information released about how damaging those releases of classified information have been uh, to the American security apparatus and our military. All right, and joining me right now is Congressman Peter King of New York. He's one of the most respected experts on national security in Congress, also a member of the Select uh, Committee on Intelligence in the House. Uh, Congressman King, it's good to have you with us. Great to be with you. Thank you. All right, so we learned a little bit more uh, specifically about how damaging these classified releases were from Edward Snowden, uh, and specifically that it uh, imperils our troops because it, it makes it more difficult to locate uh, improvised explosive devices uh, in these war zones. Uh, you knew that these uh, releases are going to be damaged or damaging all along. Uh, do you think this will change people's minds about how they think of Snowden? I, I would certainly hope that uh, people who somehow think that uh, uh, Snowden is a whistleblower or even some kind of hero or patriot who realized the extraordinary damage he's caused to our country. You know, he's put American lives at risk. For instance, on the whole issue of the uh, telephone records, the metadata, now, I support the NSA on that, but apart from that, that is only a small part of what uh, Snowden released. He released a large amount of information regarding our military, regarding our defense. Uh, you mentioned the uh, improvised explosive devices. Uh, this is, uh, there's other examples like that. I can't go into all of them. But the fact is that it has definitely put Americans at risk. And as General Clapper said, the amount of information that he released regarding the, uh, the phone records is only a small part of the overall information that he uh, made available to the enemy. So, uh, again, uh, to me, someone should never be releasing this type of secret information to begin with. Uh, including the NSA with the uh, metadata, but also as far as our uh, uh, defense plans, different uh, uh, things which I can't be, even get into, but they're out there, which he has is, he is made available. And uh, it's, it's going to put our military at risk. It can, it can cause uh, Americans to lose their lives. And I, I just wish that more Americans would realize that and not see him as some kind of hero. Uh, I call him a traitor. Uh, he's, uh, to me, uh, what he's done to his country uh, and the fact that he would go to Russia and to China. And, you know, he brought these uh, uh, records with him. He, you know, brought his laptop with him. He, uh, uh, we have to assume that the Chinese and the Russians, both of whom are experts, that uh, especially the Russians now, they have him, in effect, in their custody, that they can uh, extract information from him. They can, uh, uh, he, I think he claims he's encrypted uh, his... Uh, uh, laptop or his, uh, uh, you know, the materials he's stolen. Sure. Uh, well, the fact is, we have to assume that the Russians can break that encryption. Uh, and again, it's always a possibility he's just out now cooperating with them because, remember, he can only stay in Russia if the Russians allow him to. Sure. And uh, so he's at their mercy. So they have extraordinary leverage over him as far as gaining information. Now, earlier, earlier this week on, on this program, we interviewed uh, former NSA director Michael Hayden, the retired four-star uh, Air Force general, and right. he told us that uh, there is no question now that these uh, releases by Snowden are far more damaging than anything uh, Bradley Manning uh, had released. Do you agree with that? Yes, from all I know, ab ab absolutely. Uh, and General Hayden is a real patriot on this, and General Hayden has said this from the start uh, about how extraordinary the, the danger could be and the more we look at it, the more we see, uh, uh, you know, again, just how, how, how dangerous this is. So this is, uh, uh, this is a man who uh, basically uh, either intentionally wanted to hurt his country or was criminally, criminally negligent when it came to his country. You know, Snowden has been very careful to point out the fact that he was careful in, in the type of information that he released so that it would not uh, harm uh, servicemen and women who are still on the front lines. Clearly, this contradicts what he was saying, but which one do you believe it is? Was this negligence on his part, or do you think he, he really has uh, a, more, a much more, I guess, uh, sadistic uh, motive here? Yeah, I would say it's somewhere between, uh, again, it could be intentional. I mean, I can't read his mind, but at the very least, it's, it's criminal negligence. It, it's uh, almost like a reckless homicide uh, for him to do what he did. And uh, to me, he's a, he's a narcissist. He's so absorbed with his own importance. Uh, thinking that he's more moral than everyone else, that he and he also obviously has some sort of a rage against the United States. I mean, uh, there's so many other outlets he could have had if he disagreed with the policy. But again, here's a guy, a young person, uh, who somehow thinks that he knows more than the entire U.S. government, 
And rather than go through proper channels, he's willing to go to China, willing to go to Russia, willing to go to left-wing papers like The Guardian, uh, well, you're willing to give it to people like Greenwald. I mean, this is just uh, uh, the height of arrogance, of irresponsibility at best. At worst, it's actually criminal intent to, you know, you know, to kill Americans or put American lives at risk. Now, this also highlights the fact of how important it might be to get Snowden in custody in some way, shape, or form. Obviously, this is a complicated process, but do you feel like right now uh, the administration, uh, Eric Holder, uh, the FBI, are, are doing enough to try and get, uh, to get their hands on Snowden? Now, I'm not aware of anything they're doing, really, to get their hands on him. Right. I think we should be doing a full-court press uh, at the very least diplomatically. And when I say diplomatically, I'm not talking about kind, gentlemanly uh, uh, diplomacy. I'm talking about using whatever pressure we might have on, uh, on the Russians or be willing to make some deal with the Russians to undercut Snowden, to make it, uh, you, know, it you know, their advantage for them to uh, give him back to us, realizing there could be implications in it for them. We really have to play tough on this. We really do. This is, uh, uh, again, uh, the damage he can cause uh, is just in incalculable. And uh, to think that Americans could be blown apart, Americans could be killed, Americans could be maimed because of Edward Snowden, and then you have people in this country, including you know, people in public life, somehow suggesting that he's some kind of a hero, that he's a whistleblower, that... Uh, he should be emulated. To me, he should be scorned and really hated. Yeah, those comments may be uh, incredibly premature based on uh, what we learned in this hearing uh, this week on the Hill. Uh, also, uh, the lead story uh, on uh, Wednesday on Newsmax.com, also following up on a, a report in the Wall Street Journal, there were uh, some reportedly snipers that opened fire and there were some coordinated attacks on a Silicon Valley uh, power station out in California in the San Jose area. Uh, it, it knocked out about 17 giant, giant transformers. There has been some talk that this may have been a, a, a terror operation within our own states. This week we also heard uh, the head of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard talking about sleeper cells operating within the United States. Uh, we've, been, we've been scared about this. Uh, Congressman King, do you think this, is a, this, this potentially could be a, related in any way? Well, we have to explore everything. I'm not aware of any uh, evidence this is tied to terrorism. But again, uh, it's too early to rule it out. But as far as what the Iranian God said, uh, and we're talking about the Iranian God, we're talking about, well, we know with the Iranian God that they attempted to, uh, had plans to uh, blow up the Cafe Milano in Washington, D.C. Absolutely. To kill, you know, kill ambassadors, and it would have also uh, killed many high-ranking Americans, and uh, also Hezbollah, which is under the control of Iran and Lebanon, and which is basically an affiliate of uh, uh, you know, the uh, Iranians, the Iranian terror squads. Uh, I, when I was chairman of the Homeland Security Committee, we did a hearing on the extent of their involvement here in the United States. They definitely do have people situated here in the United States. The evidence so far has been that they are uh, more for fundraising than for terrorism. However, as we brought out at the hearings, they could very easily be converted to terrorism because a number of them have had paramilitary training, have had paramilitary experience. And I know, for instance, in New York City several years ago, the NYPD under Commissioner Ray Kelly uh, deported a number of uh, Iranians from the U.N. who were found taking uh, uh, photos and uh, videotapes of key security locations in New York City. So, no, I would be very concerned about uh, uh, Iranian Guard, also about Hezbollah and all terrorist forces affiliated with, with Iran because they are, uh, they are really you know, the A-team. They have been trained, and uh, so we definitely have to – I think we have to assume that that is a real threat to the country and constantly be on our guard. All right, certainly reason to be concerned. Congressman Peter King of New York, thanks for being with us. Thank and you. And we'll be right back after this.